Yeah, hi peeps, it's Tess back on the old squat box once again, and I've, I've been watching a um, Russell Brand on drugs, Savo and yoga video. Uh, it's on Channel 4 News on, on YouTube, so you should be able to find it. I'll put a link in the underbar. And uh, obviously most of the, the, the talk is about drugs and drug abstinence, and I totally agree with him on, on wholeheartedly on the point of, you know, alcohol and drugs. There are certain people who shouldn't use drugs or alcohol. Um, personally, I don't think I'm one of them. Uh, I've used drugs and alcohol all of my life. Uh, apart from being arrested because it's, it's illegal and ended up in jail, it hasn't really had that much of a detrimental effect upon me. Um, Although I'm sure there's some people out there that would, uh, you know, disagree with me. I mean, it's quite possible when I was 15, 16 and about to, you know, leave school, you know, with, with uh, you know, some, you know, spectacular fucking, you know, results in my old levels at 17. Uh, you know, someone could have said, well, you could have been on other jobs or, you know, you could have formed Google or, you know, you, you know, you could have been a brainiac, you know, inventor and made millions of jobs, James, if you'd only went on to college, university after school and become your whole potential. But the point is, I was never interested in that. I was never interested in becoming a fucking corporate fucking, you know, giant and, and making millions of pounds. I was more interested in what what this Russell Brand guy, you know, says, you know, uh, at the end, he starts talking about yoga and spiritualism and, you know, why limit yourself to the five fucking, you know, senses that you have. Yeah, I've always been experimenting with expanding my senses or deadening my senses and then trying to understand the world through a, a fog, a hazy, fucked up, you know, view of things, you know, and uh, it's, it's enlightened me. But I don't see that enlightenment as spiritual in any way. I see it as an emotional attachment to the world and the people around about me. I don't think spiritualization or spiritualism or anything, I don't think that exists. It's really just a combination of um, your connection with the, 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 the world outside you through your senses and how that affects you emotionally. It's an emotional attachment. It's an emotional tweaking and emotional stimulation, you know, that's what spiritualism really is. All these people say, oh, you need to have this spiritual experience. All that spiritual experience ends up being is an emotional stimulation of some kind, you know? Because that's how we connect with the world other than through our five senses, you know? Emotionally, that's the, the sixth sense, is emotions. You see something, hear something, smell something, taste something, touch something, and it stimulates inside you an emotional response. So spiritualism really is just emotions. That's all it is. And it's the same with this bullshit in religion. They keep talking about, you know, oh, they, this wondrous thing that happened to me. I, this shaking came upon me and, and I just felt the, the presence, of, you know, felt, you know. But they're not feeling it through touch. They're feeling it inside. They're emotionally feeling it. You know what I mean? It's your emotions you're playing with. So that's the sixth sense. You have your five physical senses. And the sixth sense is the emotional sense. That's inside. It happens in there. And in there, the chemicals are released through whatever emotion is being experienced. And that affects the rest of your body. You know, so... That's 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 my view on the uh, you know the yoga fucking shit, the spiritual shit, you know. As for Savo and the idea of paedophiles and what we can do about it, yeah, I'm I'm like him. I really don't know what the fuck you can do with, with humans that are like that because they're like that. Uh, you, 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 there's no power you can give them and change them. There's no talking to you can give them. You can't talk them out of being paedophiles. They are pe that that's what paedophiles. They are what they are. Uh, but trying to stop a cat from catching mice and birds. That's their nature. So it's trying to get a scorpion not to sting you when you pick it up. That, that's its nature. You can't change a person's nature. Pedophiles have something in them that drive them emotionally, mentally, physically to do these horrible things to kids. And uh, I 
don't know any way that we can change that, ever. I, I just don't know. I don't have an answer to it. <coughs> and for the drugs, I totally agree with them. If, if drugs or drink or anything that you abused in excess is, is a, a problem in your life, then, then yes, you should be encouraged to abstain from it, you know. Uh, whether you do or not, is, I would say, is totally your choice, but you should be given some kind of avenue of support that will encourage you and help you to, to, to avoid the, the destructive nature that is the, the, the abuse of substances that make you become abusive, destructive and dangerous to other people in society. And uh, I think this is where, he, where he's going with his talk on drugs in this, in this clip. And I totally wholeheartedly agree with that. But as he said, if you're 78 year old and you're smoking crack and it's not really a problem, and you're not fucking keeping neighbours up around about you, you know, at two in the morning, pumping out punk rock songs or, or fucking, you know, uh, you know, Buddy Holly, then, you know what, it shouldn't be a problem if all you're doing is just staying up at night and writing poetry, you know, because you're cracked out your head. I don't see that as a problem. Uh, many great poets were, were opium eaters and it didn't seem to bother them nor the, the society that they live in, that they sat eating opium and writing really horrible fucking poetry and, and plays. Uh, I'm, not a, 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 <laughs> I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of, uh, what do you call him? Oh, fucking hell, I just meant his name there, but uh, anyway. The guy who was friends with Shelley who wrote fucking Frankenstein, the poet who was friends with, with Shelley, I can't remember his name, but you know, he was he's a supposed to be fantastic. I'd never liked his poetry. Thought he was a complete fucking wanker asshole. But apparently he, he loved to, to eat opium, he, he loved to drink absinthe, absinthe and uh, he was probably a, a destructive creature in his own way. Uh, but he wrote apparently a lot of good writings that people loved and I've, I've never liked his shit. I think, I, I, you know, it's crap to me. Um, Byron, yeah, but I've never liked Byron. Byron was a wanker to me. I couldn't fucking stand Byron. Never liked it. Read it as a, a teenager. Never liked Byron. I thought his stuff was fucking wishy-washy and pish. But apparently, because it is very emotionally imbibing, spiritual, some people might say, but to me it, it, it is nonsense. Nonsense, you know what I mean? I'm not saying I could have written better. I'm just saying I didn't like it, you know. So, anyway. Yeah, so... I'm going to finish this video here and uh, I'll put the link to Russell Brand on Drugs, Savo and Yoga video from Channel 4 and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.